Here's a list of 12 stocks that I will buy if the market starts to crash. For more videos on the top stocks to buy right now, make sure to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's dive straight into the list. I will start with one of my largest investments which is Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT, which is stealing the spotlight. Picture this, a global powerhouse dominating cloud computing, digital security, gaming, and artificial intelligence. This isn't just any company. It's a trailblazer primed to cash in on the AI boom, set to make a jaw-dropping trillion-dollar impact on the economy. Microsoft is also a part of the elite due to its AAA rating, which is one of only two on the entire planet. I'm on a mission to compound that passive income stream, and Microsoft is at the top of the charts. While big tech offers secular growth galore, this list is a testament to the untapped potential in lesser-known corners of the market. Get ready, because the growth potential here might just outshine the giants. Next on the list, we have Accenture, ticker symbol ACN. And let me tell you, this tech gem is a dividend growth superstar. ACN isn't just a company. It's a colossal force in IT consulting, steering clients through the twists and turns of the ever-evolving tech landscape. Digital transformation is the name of the game, and ACN is the guiding light, helping clients evolve, adapt, and stay ahead. Now, brace yourself for the numbers. ACN's retention game is strong due to the unstoppable wave of AI integration across all sectors. ACN is positioned to ride this massive tailwind, and I'm talking mind-blowing estimates for the productivity gains that generative AI will unleash in the coming decade. But let's talk business basics. ACN isn't just a flash in the pan. It's got the size and scale to back up its game. Impressive return on invested capital, long-term contracts, high switching costs for clients, and a moat wider than the tech landscape itself. Next, we have two heavyweights in the financial world, S&P Global, ticker symbol SPGI, and Moody's, ticker symbol MCO. Now, SPGI is one of my all-time favorite stocks, but don't blink because MCO is right on its heels, sharing the bullish spotlight in a dazzling display of financial prowess. These two are part of an oligarchy that's not just the backbone but the lifeblood of global commerce. The U.S. financial markets run on debt, and that dance wouldn't be possible without the crucial ratings from SPGI and MCO. Warren Buffett, the oracle of Omaha himself, once spilled the beans about Moody's moat, admitting he didn't want to pay for their services but had to because, well, as a practical matter, we need their ratings. And Berkshire Hathaway isn't sailing solo in this boat. Nearly every major player, from companies to institutions to governments worldwide, is in the same boat, relying on the credit ratings from these financial titans. The strength of the high-margin recurring revenue streams that both SPGI and MCO churn out with their data-driven financial services is like a financial fortress. It's not just about ratings. It's about the goldmine of financial insights these companies bring to the table. These financial giants are a testament to the unchanging landscape of global finance. SPGI and MCO are the dynamic duo that keeps the wheels of commerce turning and the cash flowing. Next up, we have MSCI and FactSet Research, ticker symbol FDS. Now, these aren't your typical ratings agencies, but boy, do they know how to make waves in the financial world. With asset light business models that are the envy of many, they're masters at generating predictable high margin revenue from recurring financial services. MSCI is in the business of selling financial data to a who's who of the finance world. Research analysts, fund managers, investment banks, universities, governments, and yes, even individual investors. MSCI takes all that juicy data and crafts indexes, which it then licenses to financial companies for the creation of ETFs. We're talking about a business that represents a whopping 60% of its sales and a staggering 80% of its operating profit. With approximately $15 trillion benchmarked to MSCI indexes, this isn't just a company. It's a bullish bet on the global stock market's future. As the market expands, so does MSCI's bottom line. Now, let's shift our gaze to FactSet Research, the unsung hero of growth stocks. While it doesn't dabble in indexing, FactSet collects data, crafts products, and sells or licenses them to research firms. They've been growing their top line for a jaw-dropping 43 consecutive years and the bottom line for 27, making this one of the best companies on this list. In a nutshell, these companies aren't just riding the wave of financial services, they're creating it. MSCI and FactSet are the dynamic duo shaping the future of finance.
Speaking of finance, let's talk about Visa, ticker symbol V, and MasterCard, ticker symbol MA, which are undisputed champions in their own rights. Currently, we're hurtling towards a cashless society, and as digital payment volumes soar, these two giants are at the forefront, orchestrating the symphony of financial transactions. Crypto may be the talk of the town, but don't count out Visa and MasterCard just yet. Their seasoned management teams are ready to evolve and adapt alongside the crypto revolution. Now, let's talk business models. V and MA are like the toll booths of the digital highway. No messy entanglements with consumer credit. Unlike their peers grappling with defaults and delinquency fears, V and MA shareholders can rest easy. Every transaction with a Visa or MasterCard card means they collect a tidy sum known as the credit card assessment fee. For Visa, it's a cool 0.14%, and for MasterCard, it's either 0.13% or 0.14%, with Visa alone having processed over 276 billion transactions in the past year, with a total trailing 12 months payment volume soaring above $15 trillion. Visa and MasterCard team up with financial institutions that provide cards to consumers, be it banks or retailers. These partners collect larger fees and in return, consumers get top-notch fraud protection and access to payment networks accepted by hundreds of millions of merchant locations across more than 200 countries. It's a win-win-win scenario that defines the essence of seamless transactions in the modern world. Next, we have Automatic Data Processing, ticker symbol ADP. And we also have Broadridge Financial Services, ticker symbol BR. First up, let's tackle ADP, the unsung hero of human capital management. ADP steps in and takes the reins of back office administrative functions, such as payroll, human resources, taxation, and benefit solutions. It's not just business. It's the lifeline that lets companies focus on growth while ADP handles the nitty-gritty. Now let's shift gears to Broadridge Financial, the master of investor communications. If you've ever received mail about proxy fights, chances are BR was behind the scenes making it happen. In a world riddled with financial regulations, BR takes the headache out of investor communication for its clients, locking in those sticky contracts. Sending out over 7 billion investor communications during fiscal 2023, BR dominates the landscape. But that's not all. With an investor communication segment accounting for 75% of its sales, BR also operates a global technology and operations segment, offering back-office solutions for wealth managers and asset management firms. Processing a mind-boggling $7 trillion worth of equity and fixed-income trades per day, BR is the silent force ensuring smooth sailing in the financial seas. Now, I know financial stocks might be becoming a common theme, but bear with me because next we have Intercontinental Exchange, ticker symbol ICE, which is not your average player. The company has had positive annual EPS growth for the last 20 years. Sure, ICE might be known for its crown jewel, such as the New York Stock Exchange, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Recent acquisitions, including Ellie Mae and Black Knight, have propelled ICE into the mortgage space. And let me tell you, this isn't just about equities and fixed income. ICE is making waves in commodities, futures, forex, and ETF exchanges. But what sets ICE apart? It's now the largest provider of mortgage technology in the U.S. ICE is at the forefront of this transformation, riding a long-term tailwind that's set to reshape the industry. And when it comes to the toll booth model, ICE knows the game. It collects fees based on transaction volume on its exchanges, making it a rare breed that thrives on market volatility whether it's positive or negative, because ICE is set to benefit regardless of the market direction. And now for the grand finale, let's talk about the iconic McDonald's, ticker symbol MCD. You might be thinking, why is a fast food giant on a list with financial heavyweights? Well, buckle up, because McDonald's is no ordinary burger joint. It's a strategic play that's all about future-proofing. As the world's largest quick-service restaurant chain with over 100,000 locations, McDonald's is no stranger to expansion. A whopping 95% of its locations are franchises, showcasing an asset-light business model that's the envy of many. McDonald's recently upped the royalty rate for franchises from 4% to 5% of monthly sales. This isn't just about flipping burgers. It's about capitalizing on a worldwide love affair with fast food. Now, let's talk numbers. McDonald's gross margin has soared from 38.8% in 2013 to a mouthwatering 57.2% today. 
With the majority of locations being franchises, McDonald's can focus on the big picture, which is marketing, menu development, and cutting-edge automation systems. The recent increase in the royalty rate is just the tip of the iceberg for this toll booth model in the fast food universe. Automation is the name of the game moving forward, promising increased productivity and profitability for both franchisees and the parent company. When recession knocks on the door, demand for value-oriented options like McDonald's rises, so this stock will save you even when other stocks are falling. The burger giant not only stands the test of time, but also brings a unique flavor to a list dominated by financial heavyweights. It's not just about burgers, it's about a global phenomenon that's as reliable as they come. For more videos on the best stocks to buy, press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck and happy investing.